update guys we're gonna give you an update on the build uh, pretty much nothing has happened <clears throat> no not uh, actually a few things have happened I got some more supplies I uh, picked up this this sprocket I think I believe it's a t35 uh, this chain which is a t35 yep nice chain and the reason for that is I likely will not be going with the belt drive and this pulley uh, you're probably asking why. Uh, I've actually seen a few videos where guys are using this, using this on gas bikes, and if this belt isn't super tight, uh, it will slip. These uh, notches in the belt are not deep enough, and uh, it does that every time the guy would accelerate, which would irritate the hell out of me. So, uh, you know, this is not just that. Uh, the way this thing is designed. It, it, it's probably better off on a just a single frame bicycle. I have a, a dual bike, basically. It's a well, it's a it's a cargo bike, but I extended it with two frames, and they're bolted and welded together. And when I hit a mean pothole, if I look <laughs> if I look to my side, you can see the back of the bike will actually flex, um, which is no good for this because the minute it flexes, and if it's not totally in line with the motor. It, uh, this will just basically just ride right off. Um, it would work if this had like a, an inch lip on each side to keep the belt from uh, falling off, but it doesn't. For this to work, it has to be perfectly aligned with the motor. So that's why I'm not using it. it I mean, I'm still going to use it for another project, but it'll be like a single bike project where the frame is more stiff and I'm not worried about coming loose or warping or jumping jumping off uh, this is yeah I don't want to I don't even want to get into this the problems I'm going to have with this on the, on the bike I have now hence the chain uh, a chain can take a little bit more abuse you can have side play and I mean it rides on the on the teeth it's not going to jump out you can you can make it tight uh, for this I'm going to take this pulley off here I'm going to make a sleeve to go around the axle I'm gonna slip that on, bolt it. If it uh, if it comes loose, what I'll do is I'll I'll notch the uh, the shaft to go with the uh, Allen keys there. But that will work on that. I'm going to order another one of these. Well, obviously not this, but same size. That will work with the chain, uh, which I'm going to do in the next couple of days, and uh, have it here rapidly uh, to put it on the this is the wheel I'll be using. Originally, I had thought of putting the other chain drive on the brake side uh, because what I was going to do is take the disc off put the, the sprocket on there and then put extra long screws with spacers to bring the disc brake out and uh, readjust the, the, the back of the bike just bend the uh, forks out a little bit for the, uh, the back end but the thing is I don't think now that I'm going with the chain I don't think that's a good idea um, I think it's a really bad idea because if the chain flings any oil, it gets on this disc, then um, I'm pretty much screwed. So we're not going to do that. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is mount it on the cluster side. If I can, actually, it'd probably be better on this side too because it's more flat. Just on the other side, and um, we'll go from there. I also had the plan of using something like this where you could um, have a freewheel. That way, when I let off on the throttle, I'm not dragging that chain and the motor with me, um, which would be pretty noisy. This way, when the, when the motor stops, the chain stops, and a freewheel, basically. Uh, it'd be faster. These are the things I have to go over when I actually get all the parts here. But uh, once the other large sprocket is here for the chain then we can uh, literally get started with this build um, I want to do it in a way that I only have to do minimal welding on the frame to get the, uh, the bracket to bolt the motor down and just slap, slap it on I don't want my bike offline for a while uh, I use it daily so the quicker I can do this the better it sucks that I can't use that but for everything I've seen online I do not think it's a good idea uh, I will be forever re reinstalling it and having it jump off on every every major pothole and everything else. It's just it's not worth it to me. 
Um, if I had to explain what the back of the bike was like, it's like if you see one of those really long oil tankers on, on the sea and it's in rough waters and you see how it twists. That's what my bike is like. It doesn't break. There's nothing wrong with the bike. It's just so long that it's it's got a little bit of a twist to it. I'm used to it, but uh, that will not work. I know that for a fact. Um, if I was to actually build something that you could screw to the sides and it had a lip on each side, to, to, as a guide, basically, to keep the belt from jumping off, it would work, but that's a lot of work. A lot of work I'm not really interested in getting into when I can just use that. I got everything. I got that, I got that. All I need is the brack, the sprocket, and we're good to go. We'll get started. But uh, I figured I'd give you an update on that. Bit of a pain in the butt to get the parts together. But uh, also, I think I don't think I'm going to have to use a smaller gear ratio and then to the larger gear ratio. Um, the front motor is going to be pulling at the same time as this one, so this one's not going to be doing all the work. And uh, it'll basically get up, get up to speed pretty good. Um, I know for a fact by the time this one's set up with the controller that's on the bike now um, and that chain and this wheel, the bike is going to be way faster. <laughs> it's going to be crazy fast. But uh, this chain should be pretty good. It's not going to snap. It's going to be loud. Who cares? Loud is good. But uh, it's too bad I can't use this. That sucks. Anyway, I figured I'd let you in on that. Um, in the next couple of days, I'll order the other bracket or sprocket, and we'll uh, we'll get started on this for once. Later, guys.